the 2016 Ryder Cup provided a disappointing outcome for Darren Clark's European team as America won back the trophy for the first time in eight years. Lee Westwood made his 10th consecutive Ryder Cup appearance at Hazeltine, but struggled to impact proceedings as his putting stroke came unstuck under pressure. The Englishman is a resilient character though, and with the help of renowned putting coach Phil Kenyon, he's knuckled down on the greens to iron out his problems. I had a, a poor spell, played very poorly, and you know, if you're not if you know you can play at a certain level and you're not playing up to that level, you know, it becomes a bit demoralizing. So you have to go back to basics and uh, you know go go through the things that you think made you play well before and just be very disciplined about your practice and your approach to the game. The individuality of the, of the game it was what really drew me to it, the fact that if I had a bad shot then consequences were on me and if I had a good one then you know it was nobody else's fault other than mine. Westwood has long been regarded as one of the best players in the game from tee to green but once on the dance floor the stats tell a story of inconsistency. In 2016, he was ranked 98th on the European Tour for putts per greens hit in regulation. So what's he changed to overcome these issues? Uh, my alignment a little bit. Um, swinging the putter through on a, on, a, on a straighter line, I tend to drag in a little bit. Um, so getting my hands a little bit higher when I set up to the golf ball, like I, like I used to do, funnily enough, at the end of the 90s, and I putted really well. What a shot from Westwood. The changes made look to have bedded in nicely for Westwood as he began 2017 with a tied eighth place finish in Abu Dhabi, where he performed much more solidly on the greens. Like all golfers, you forget what you do and, you know, I could have a lesson today and I could forget what I'm working on tomorrow. So, uh, And a lot of us are like that because golf's such a mental sport, so uh, um, I tend to jot down stuff that works now. I tend to look at it from both sides and the side just to check whether it's uphill and downhill. Um, on these greens you need to check the grain out as well because uh, you have that to take into account because it's quite strong. And then just get behind the ball and try and picture the line, you know, picture the, the path that I want it to run down. Um, maybe pick a spot on the green because um, it's a lot easier to line up to something that's maybe two feet in front of you rather than if you've got a 15 foot putt and you're trying to aim somewhere near the hole. So I'm, I'm very much a, a, a spot putter and, uh, and I'm just trying to roll it over that point and let the break do all the rest. After 23 seasons on tour, the 43-year-old remains as enthusiastic as ever about the sport and he's determined to add to his haul of 42 career wins. I love it. You know, I, I love going in and balls on the range and practicing, you know, working on my swing and, and then I love getting in contention and being competitive and trying to beat the other, the other guy. Keep getting myself into contention but, you know, Years gone by, I used to finish it off, and this year, you know, this year I'd like to start finishing tournaments off again. Uh, you know, it's nice. It's nice to get into contention, but you want to. Golf's all about winning.